The supernatural is not selective. A scientist working in his laboratory, a housewife bent over her ironing board, all these and many others have, at one time or another, been the central figures in mysterious events. And bewildering things have even been known to happen to a young man hurrying to keep a date with his best girl. Leonard Wadham, a resident of Walworth, South London, was a respectable young man of regular habits. He was, like most young men of his age, in love. And on the evening of September 27th, he had called the object of his affection on the telephone to confirm an appointment. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in front of St. Benedict's Cathedral. Don't be light. How could I be light when I'm meeting you, Ellen? (laughs) I'll be there at nine o'clock sharp. It was only a 15-minute walk from his home to St. Benedict's Cathedral. But just to be on the safe side... He started out at half past eight. When he was still several blocks away from the meeting place, he chanced to glance up, and he noticed the clock in the cathedral spire. Not quite a quarter to nine. I've only got a couple of more minutes to go. <laughs> She's the one who's going to keep me waiting. Oh, oh I'm sorry now. What's happening? What's happening to me in here? On this same evening... Near the village of Dunstable, not far from London, Patrolman Gibbons of the Dunstable Police Force was covering his beat. Hello. What's this? Same bloke standing right in the middle of the highway. Looks like he don't even know where he is. Intoxicated, I'll bet he's Hey, you there! What are you doing in the middle of the thoroughfare? Well, I... I don't exactly know. That is, I... You want to get hit or something? No, but... But, officer, would you mind telling me where I am? I can tell you where you ought to be, home in bed. In your condition. My condition? You don't think I'm drunk, officer. I haven't had a drop. And what is the matter with you? I... I don't know. Something happened to me. Something strange and mysterious like. A landscape. It brought it out. The street and the cathedral and everything. What street? What cathedral? St. Benedict's on South Waterbury. What? That's in London, ain't it? Aye, and that's where I was. Well, you're not there now. You're in Dunstable. Dunstable? Why, that's 30 miles from London. But, but how did I get here? I, I don't remember coming here at all. Oh, it sounds like amnesia to me. Aye, that must be it. But how am I going to explain it to Ellen? I was to meet her at nine o'clock sharp, and here I am, 30 miles away, and it must be midnight. And, and what makes you think it's midnight? Well, it was just 17 minutes to nine when I looked at the clock on St. Benedict. Wait a minute now. Take a look at this watch. Blimey. It's only ten minutes to nine. It is not recorded whether Leonard Bottom was ever able to persuade Ellen of the truth of his story. If she was highly skeptical, it is not to be wondered at. For few women would be likely to believe that a man could be transported... Without his knowledge, 30 miles in less than seven minutes. And yet, if we accept the evidence that was conclusive enough to convince both the Dunstable police and the great London newspaper, those are the facts. Facts. Incredible but true. (laughs) 